welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video within this week's gift guide week today we are talking all things pets which honestly makes me so excited this was my easiest video to shop for i'm not gonna lie i thought i would compile a few things within today's video to give you gift ideas for not just for your pets but also if you're buying for people who are pet owners who also feel like you know their fur babies are their kids so anyway if you're not already subscribed to my channel it would mean the world if you would do so and like this video if you're a fan of the gift guide stay tuned as well for future vlogs as we lead into christmas for any more ideas i'm sure i'll share with you lots more but for now let's kick things off with the first item i'm going to kind of go in price order starting with these absolute bargains from dunelm this is more it is going to be fairly dog heavy but a lot of the things you can kind of relate to cats or some of the brands that i've um got to include also provide for cats but yeah, it's gonna probably be a bit dog heavy. But anyway, these from Dunelm, I've used these before. They are their dog shampoo and dog conditioner. These used to be three pounds. They have reduced them to just 75p each. So I picked them up for myself anyway. And I thought, you know what, I'll share that with you guys. Cause if you have a dog, um, or if you are buying for someone who has a dog, then 75p is an absolute bargain. They smell lovely as well. They're the herbal lavender fragrance. As we're kind of going in price order, this next one is relative to your budget. So from just a pound a week, you could sponsor a dog. I actually used to sponsor guide dogs um, a while back now, but I feel like I might refresh it, you know, because I feel like it's been a while. And now I have a golden of my own. I might renew that. But yeah, sponsoring a guide dog literally from a pound a week, you could even gift to someone on their behalf. This next item, dogs or cats, lint roller. This metal lint roller is my favorite cleaning tool I own. It's the most satisfying cleaning tool you will ever have. You don't even just have to be a pet owner to use this, but it's quite satisfactory when you are a pet owner because you can gather up all the fur from the carpets, the stairs, upholstery, sofas. These are literally a pound. I'll leave it linked below. I'll share with you this brand who I have talked about before, but they provide items from anywhere from about like two, three pounds. So again, it is relative to you and your budget, but the brand is called Pet Hamper. They're not too far from me actually, fairly local. And um, they have some gorgeous accessories, toys. They have loads of treats on their website as well. So you can do a DIY hamper through their website. These are the two different packaging options. The linen bag, which I've already got one of these because I bought one of these for Barney last year. And then also this gift bag option is another lovely touch too. These are some of their new Christmas range products that they've got on their website. So this is Richie Reindeer. How cute is he? He is so soft. I think there's a squeaker in there, but just in case, I'm sure most of you are watching have pets. Just in case your pets are sleeping, I won't wake them up with the squeakers. Um, so I've got that. And then I've also got this triangle tug toy. They also do this in a neutral kind of beige color, but I've got the bright red for Christmas. Barney loves tug of war. It is probably one of his favorite kind of toys. And then some treats. We've got chicken and peanut butter nut crackers. We've got um, also some festive chicken and coconut protein snowballs. And then in the linen hamper, I've got a couple more goodies from the Christmas festive range. Firstly, this rope toy, which is obviously a candy cane. This is the gray and white one. I think they've got another color of that as well, actually. And then they also have these blankets, which are only $7.99, and they're perfect for gifting at Christmas because they have snowflakes on them. How nice are they? Oh, so cozy. I tend to get these kind of um, these kind of blankets for on Barney's bed, just so that it's easier to throw this in the wash than it is to remove his bedding. And then we've also got this set of festive tennis balls, which come in this gorgeous linen bag. For the set, it's 9 dollars We've got Merry Woofmus, a bone, and Santa, I can 
can explain. So not only is it an amazing brand, but they have also uh, very kindly given me a discount code for you guys to use should you wish to shop anything on their website. You can use the code FREAPH20 for 20% off, and that is valid until the 16th of December. So make sure to get in there quick. Next up at £3.75, I spotted these in Asda. And again, for a pet owner, I think this is such a lovely kind of stocking filler gift. They are the Yankee Candle Wax Melts in Perfect Christmas. They smell like apple, cinnamon, kind of festive berries. Then from about five pounds upwards, you can get some really fun festive gift wrap from places like Etsy. There's, in fact, next do some gift wrap that has loads of dogs on it. I might get it this year. Etsy, you can actually personalize some wrapping paper with the face of your dog. And you can also get little stickers as well, or even gift cards to have them personalized. Etsy's just amazing for stuff like that. I also spotted a couple of books online. There are a whole range of these books for like best UK walks, whether it be in the Peak District, Lake District, the Northwest, you know, the Southwest, wherever it may be. Especially if you like to venture a bit further afield out and about for nice long dog walks. It's not necessarily pet related, but it's called the Great British Bucket List, I think. And again, that's loads of different places within the UK that you should go and visit. So I mentioned Barney Lights Tug of War. This is a new toy that I've discovered recently discovered that he loves and it's called a it's like a burrow dog toy this one I got from cherries essentially it's a toy which has a hole in it and you can pop the toys inside and they have to try and get the toys out but he just loves it I got one from TK Maxx like a Halloween themed one now I wanted to mention Barber. They have obviously the premium kind of wax jackets that are lovely. They've got harnesses. They also do other kind of accessories like collars. They do bandanas, bow ties, of which I do have the Barber bow tie and also bandana for Barney, which I love putting him in this. I just, you just, I, I, okay, there's a few dog hairs on it. And these are sort of like anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds. And then obviously the wax jackets are quite a bit more, but they do. Um, dog toys. He's got the Barber Wellington boot. Might get him the Barber jacket and um, dog toy this year. They do beds and blankets as well, so they go right up to a more expensive price point too. Again, dog ice in this one, and I have to include it because since finding this, it's a game changer. It's from Groom Professional, and I only discovered it through his doggy daycare giving him a groom one day, and he came home smelling in. And I said, what is it you have to tell me? It's this brand. There's the original one. I've got the baby fresh one, which smells a bit like talcum powder. And I've even sprayed it on Barney a couple of days later, been on a dog walk and people have stroked him and go, whose dog is it that smells amazing? One of the dog owners that I walk with in the morning so went up to him, smelt him and he was like, it's Barney, what is that? She went straight away. I'm like, right, I'm buying it, I'm buying it. So anyway, you have to get your hands on this. It is just like kind of a spritz that you can put on them after you've given them a bath or just in between baths. Alongside maybe gifting someone this, you could always get them some grooming vouchers too. I do also really rate Zara Home for their pet range as well. I do have a couple of um, spray products. They've got loads of nice bits, like beds, blankets, all sorts. I've got this first spray again, kind of like an in-between spritz. And then this one is the fabric spray. I've used quite a lot of that actually. That one's nearly gone to just spritz the sofa down and the dog beds. Let's make it smell amazing. That's in the absolute linen scent, which if you've already got in the home fragrance sets from Zara Home anyway, um, then that's a nice addition to that. I have some products in the mail on route. They're coming from the bottle baking company, which also do them for dogs. So they are for humans, which basically like all the ingredients in a jar to make whatever it is that that recipe is, whether it be cookies, brownies, whatever. They do them for dogs as well. So you can get like flavored dog biscuits and cookies and honestly amazing. And those uh, bottles are about 11 pounds each. I've seen on Etsy, I haven't actually bought one to show you, but I have seen on Etsy, you can get personalized key rings and necklaces and things where you can actually have the pet's image in imprinted onto the jewelry item, which I think is a really nice personal touch. An essential for me out and about is always hand sanitizer now, especially on dog walks, picking up poop, I'm wanting to hand sanitize or going on long muddy walks when you get back in the car, hand sanitizer is your best friend. So I've got this premium luxe type one. This one's 10, 20 pounds. So for a hand sanitizer, it is a bit more luxury, but as a gift idea, it would be so nice to receive a really nice 
hand sanitizer. These ones are great as well though. It's from the brand Never Go Alone. This is the Edition 1 Sandstone. But they're good because they come on a little lead type toggle thing. So if you want to attach it to like your dog walking belt or your coat or his lead, you can always then have the hand sanitizer on you. And how nice is that packaging as well for hand sanitizer? Gorgeous. And it smells lovely too. It's ultra hydrating with aloe, ginseng, green tea, chamomile with top notes of cardamom, black pepper, juniper, coriander, green citrus and mint. Heart notes of eucalyptus, lavender, rose, otto, nutmeg, cinnamon leaf, and base notes of sandalwood, cedarwood, and musk. So yeah, it smells lovely. I guess that's not relative to just pet owners either. Anyone can receive a nice luxury hand sanitizer in their stocking this year. A couple of leads that I wanted to mention this year, my friends brand Rudy and Lou do these gorgeous, they're called Lucrezia, um, this range. It's a slip lead, figure eight slip lead, which we use for Barney. Look how thick and chunky that um, actual rope lead is. It's just beautiful. They're like made in Italy. Gorgeous quality, we've got him the um, collar as well. We tend to only use this one when we're actually going somewhere that's not like a real muddy walk, because I like, I want to keep one, at least one set for nice. And also I've got this running lead, which just wraps around your waist. So if you're into running or you want to get into running with your pooch, or you're just walking hands free, to be able to attach this to their harness, it's really stretchy and forgiving. So yeah, great for running. Speaking of my friends at business, Rudy and Lou, if you remember, they brought us to Crufts last year and I just thought it was such a fun day out. We were able to take Barney, which was very um, lucky because I know not everyone could get in with dogs. With all the different kind of shopping stalls and stands that they've got available, I just think it's a good day out in general. So maybe Crufts tickets for dog owners. Um, they start, I think they're about £15 or something like that. Another experience type thing that you could buy for pet owners could be a photo shoot of some kind, whether it be like an outdoorsy movement adventure type photo shoot or an in-studio one. I know my friend took her St. Bernard to one not too far from us and honestly the photos from that adorable. Another item I have in the mail and en route is a personalised paint by numbers. Again, it doesn't have to necessarily be for pet owners this. You can have photos um, uploaded of like friends and family or something else, but you can obviously do your dog. So I thought it might be quite a nice idea to get someone who's maybe a bit crafty to um, buy them a personalized paint by numbers of their pet. And that's about 29, 30 pounds. I had to include some crocs and now white is definitely a dangerous color for a pet owner i currently have some black ones on the go these are still fresh and brand new kind of waiting until the renovations like at least calm down before i get these ones out because i mean i could just rinse them down it's not hard but whilst i've got my black ones out i just tend to use those for now whilst we do live on a building site but crocs are the easiest fastest thing to slip on whilst you're quickly taking your dog out in the garden late at night so every single day I wear my crocs even taking the bins out you know all that, that sort of stuff where you just want to slip on a shoe that's by the front door or the back door but also you can buy these little croc charms for a couple of pounds off Etsy and I got obviously a golden retriever and how cute are they so even if you're buying for someone who already has crocs to maybe get them a little croc charm of a breed that they own is just so cute. So I saw these in John Lewis and thought I would show them to you from William Morris. They have some absolutely beautiful sets for dog owners. And these are just two of the sets that they've got. These ones are both priced, I think these are both 30 pounds, 30 pounds each. And um, so we've got the Canine Companion Festive Stocking Set which with it you get the festive stocking itself, you get a bow tie, a matching scrunchie that you can wear, and also a dog shampoo as well, a good travel size that one. How beautiful is the whole packaging, the design, the pattern, love that. And then this is the William Morris At Home Canine Companion Dog Walkers Kit. They are vegan friendly. Look at all the stuff that's included within here. So you've got a microfiber pore cloth, a hand cream, a hand warmer, great for winter, poo bag, always an essential, and um, 
pore and nose balm good for if they've got like cracked pores or sensitive pores and then a calming mist as well i've actually yet to use a calming mist but maybe if you just spritz it around the bed it's maybe quite relaxing for them i know i've mentioned a hamper already but i guess another um gift kind of along those lines are a subscription box so there's quite a few companies out there that do pet subscriptions whether it be sort of like natural treat subscriptions or um, like a mixture of toys and treats. I know there's one called Collar Club, I think it's called, which does e all like eco-friendly um, toys and, and treats and stuff as well. I know I've mentioned in previous gift guides previous years for kind of personalized prints or some kind of personalized artwork of your pet, which I think is such a lovely gift. And I was very kindly sent these from Kath at Inky Paw Print of uh, like a photo of Barney, which she does in black and white and also color as well. Like how, I mean, they're in their laminations to protect them. How gorgeous is that? I'm definitely gonna get these framed, maybe even side by side. I just think they're so lovely. So if someone you think they'd prefer a black and white version, I think I personally prefer the colored version. I just love it. And that's actually Barney wearing his barber bandana. <laughs> Get these sort of things around the 30, 40, 50 pound price point. Another company I came across that also do um, dog products alongside their other kind of home fragrance products is a brand called Norfolk Natural Living. And this particular kit is their ultimate dog pamper kit handmade by skilled artisans on the norfolk coast inspired by our long walks on the sandy shores and marshy fields of norfolk so inside you have a botanical dog shampoo paw cleanser dog cologne and also a grooming comb in there as well they've got a couple of other options or like you can buy these things individually um but yeah i just thought that was such a lovely gift set and and really nice tin that you could keep keep some treats in for afterwards as well. Something that I don't actually have for Barney, but I have thought about. So if anyone else has one out there, let me know and let me know what you think of them. But you can get GPS trackers that you can pop on their collars. You can track them down nice and easily. You can monitor their step count and how far they run. Something that I think we're gonna do this year is get a National Trust annual membership, which for us, I think is about 70 to 75 pounds per person. Um, it just allows you access into all of the kind of national parks which we tend to go to quite a lot so quite often little, little um inside info here if we get up and go if we're out and about early and we get to a park before the nine o'clock opening we've been let in without having to pay i will say that but i think it's just depending on obviously who's on the gate and what the situation is but it does mean that you can't like go inside the houses or anything like that that's just access to the car park but we've got quite a few places near us that are beautiful walks and i think it might be worth us getting an annual membership each so we've got a couple more items and as i said i'm doing this in price order so these are definitely more of the higher price point now this penultimate item is more suitable for golden retriever owner so it's very specific obviously you could take this idea and make it relative to a different breed or even animal for cats or whatever but some kind of book is what i'm getting at and i have this book which i absolutely love some of the photography in this is incredible it's called the golden retriever photographic society by bruce weber it's a ginormous coffee table book let me tell you it is heavy i'll show you this image and put my hand over these people here because they're naked <laughs> so cute gosh i remember when barney was that small it's different breeds as well actually it's not all just golden retrievers it is predominantly golden retrievers but honestly some of these look so much like barney it is ridiculous there's a lot of black and white imagery in this one as well and kind of sepia tone so even you could have it out on display and have it kind of set out on a page oh look there's even cats and then the last and final item that i wanted to mention is um a carrier so obviously you can get cat carriers but dog carriers in particular, I think for smaller breeds are lovely. So I bought this for um, someone for Christmas this year. And it is just, it's from Mutts and Hounds, which have loads of different designs. Can you see the inside lining looks so cozy. This is the medium size. It's got this little additional strap here where you can actually attach them via their harness or collar. And then, yeah, it's just a essentially like a little shoulder bag that you can carry around 
with your pooch being able to look outside. Um, so yeah, this is from Mutts and Hounds. Again, they've got so many different colors and designs. I went for this kind of natural gray and khaki tweed color. So that is everything that I wanted to mention within my pet gift guide or gift guide for pet owners. I hope you guys have taken some inspiration, maybe got some ideas. Any other ideas, let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for the rest of this gift guide week for more videos to come or check out the ones I have already uploaded this week. And I hope to see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.